Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back and it's great to be back after a couple days away with the family for the holidays. But we need to talk about what is going on with this market right now because it continues to crash with the insane SBC content that we have had in terms of the upgrade pack SBCs and some of the gamble packs on this game, especially with this big SBC that EA dropped yesterday on Saturday. But I want to look forward and kind of look at the market as a whole with all of these prices that have dropped so much is there going to be a low point over the next day or so that we could potentially take advantage of and make some coins off of? Whether it's buying cards for your team, whether it's investing for a market rise in specific areas, the market might be reaching a low point here pretty soon because this pace of content just can't keep up for forever, right? The Black Friday period is kind of slowing down. It's kind of ending. We're getting towards the end of the weekend. All the packs we've seen added to the code maybe slowing down a bit in the next day or so. So I want to take a look at the market and talk about how it might be a decent time to buy pretty soon. And we're also going to analyze what could be the best cards to buy and what could be today's content on Sunday that could impact the market for either prices going down or maybe starting to rise back up a little bit. So we're going to talk about a lot today related to the market and of course cover the most latest content. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's look at the SBC that we can point our finger at right now and say, hey, this is why the market is continuing to go down so much. And it's this SBC right here, the 87 plus base or mid icon upgrade. Interestingly enough, this was delayed content. Yesterday at the content drop, we had the Jimenez, the Carvalho, a couple upgrade packs and a couple of mini release cards added into packs. And it was like, wow, that was not a great day of content. And then an hour and a half after content, the delayed content, as we've seen it before, this happened on Friday and on Saturday. Yesterday, they dropped delayed content, but yesterday's delayed SBC was nuts. The 87 plus base or mid icon upgrade repeatable, not once, not twice, but three times you could do this 80% upvotes on this SBC at a 300,000 coin price point with three squads to complete inside of it. This is why the market is dropping so much and it correlates perfectly to when you go and look at some of the graphs on Footbin to where and when the prices started dropping. If you take a look at Gold Neymar, who is out of packs because his inform is in packs right now. Neymar was 260 yesterday, sort of dropping off a little bit into content. He was about 230 at content. And then an hour and a half after content, he nosedived again down to 210,000 coins. There have been a lot of cards that have been dropping a lot since this SBC was dropped as people are selling cards to go and get this SBC done because the potential to get a really, really big icon out of this is there, right? Of course, base or mid version, so it does not include any of the brand new World Cup icons. But, you know, think about mid R9, and it's not like there's a rating max on it, right? We've had all these max 86, max 89, nah. There's none of that. It's 87 plus. So the potential for you to get a really solid icon is there. Now, again, this is a big gamble. I'm not trying to talk this SBC up and saying that you should 100% do it. It's available for five days. You can do it three times. There's a ton of upgrade packs that are out. If you want to try to craft it, be my guest. Go ahead and try to craft it. But a lot of people see an SBC like that. They want to go and do it. And that is why the market is dropping. Because again, people go and sell cards to get that SBC done. Now, as we looked at Neymar, Neymar was down to like 210. He is now rising back up to almost 230,000 coins. That was the story for a lot of the market yesterday. Prices dropped off a lot as people went out and bought SBC fodder with those coins that they were selling cards with, right? If we take a look around, I mean, if you look, I'll look at the Marvel heroes here just for a quick second as well, just to show you guys like the market is dropping literally everywhere. Smaller wreck is 455,000 coins. He started the day yesterday, 516. And since that SBC came out, he has just been dropping. Now I will say some cards have been very, very good to flip. Some cards have already bounced back up a little bit. Like if you take a look at Govu, he's starting to bounce back. There's an undercut here at 545 and there's a 569. If you look at Govu's graph, he was 614, 612 all the way down to 539, right? 540K. I actually wanna go take a look at this on the market because this is an example of a card that you can look for in these swings in the market like this and make really good coins off of because he is a rare card that a lot of people wanna use. Oh, he's still 545, right? That'd be a card that right now, if this got under undercut at like 530, 
I would look to probably buy that because I think that's a really rare card that could potentially go back up some. Um, you know, some of the cards that are even in packs and of course your PTG cards dropped off a lot yesterday. Road to the World Cup and Path to Glories both had some pretty big movements. I actually bought a Marquinhos uh, that I'm trying to flip at the moment. I have a Mane card from the mini release yesterday that I'm trying to flip um, at the moment as well. A lot of these prices have been fluctuating because of this big SPC content that we have been having, right? So that's why the market is down a lot is because of that big SBC and just a combination of the big SBCs that we have had over the past couple of days. People get on the game, they want to do the, the hero upgrade, they want to do the icon upgrade or all the other upgrade packs that are available right now. That's what people want to do, right? Now, the flip side of the coin is, like we said, people are selling these types of cards to go and buy the fodder types of cards. And if you take a look at the fodder market, I mean, the cheapest 91 of the game is Lionel Messi. How crazy is that 90s are 91 rated are about 68k 90 rated cards are about 60,000 coins 88s are still up 87s are rising 89s are rising fodder across the board has started to go up because these upgrade SPCs are what everybody is doing right now and these upgrade packs are what everybody is doing even with all the lightning rounds that EA is putting out and the packs that are being opened there this stuff continues to rise because the demand is there for those SPCs. But like I said, will this insane content continue? I just can't imagine a game in, in which EA would release even more of this today. Now, the one thing I'm very interested in today on Sunday is the Max 89 FIFA World Cup Hero Upgrade Pack, the very popular one, it expires. Now, I have not done it yet, so it's still there for me, and I'm probably not going to get it done, even, you know, it's only one squad, so I'm tempted to do it, but we'll, we'll see. Um, you know, it expires today. Could EA refresh this? I think there's a potential for it. There's another pack that's still in the code that we haven't seen yet that I think EA could also release today, and we'll take a look at that as a part of talking through Sunday's content, but Today is going to be such an interesting day for the market because it can't drop forever. And the price drops that we have seen, the percentage drops that we have seen on so many cards, especially on some of these live cards, some of these guys are lower than what they were when they were first in packs. And they've been out of packs for a couple of weeks on the PTGs and the live upgrading aspect of these cards. I mean, we're getting very close to these uh, PTG cards starting to actually get upgrades. So that's an exciting part of the market to watch. And I think there's great investment opportunity there so like we saw prices are dropping down prices are pretty low could they go lower today before we think about buying let's talk about this i want to talk to you guys about the pack that is in the code that could potentially come today right as we saw in the code that was added on friday we had an 87 base or mid right we got that yesterday we also had an 86 plus base or fifa world cup hero pack yesterday in the store they dropped a, a world cup uh, sorry, it was a hero pack, right? That was an absolute scam. 200,000 coins for that. Don't touch that, right? Um, this one, though, would get people very interested. It would have to be a bit cheaper, I think. An 86 plus base or World Cup hero pack. That, in my eyes, is like the last pack that we have added to the code that EA could really drop that um, would make things move even more, make fodder move up a little bit more and potentially make the market crash a bit more because people love heroes, right? I would argue that, yes, icons are hyped and, you know, potentially getting Zidane, Eusebio, R9, any of those big boy icons is really hyped from this pack. But World Cup heroes and the way that heroes give chemistry to people's teams People love this pack as well. I think there's a little bit of a chance that this SBC drops today. That is if EA really wants to full send the content once again. So just watch out for that. If this pack drops today, I think we will see prices drop lower. And that's going to even bring another buying opportunity and a really, really good buying opportunity on the market today. Now, also for Sunday content today, things that could shift the market a bit. This leak, which I'm incredibly fond of this leak. I'm a fan of this. I'm gonna do this SBC. Christian Eriksen is added to come via Road to the World Cup SBC stats predicted. This seems like one of the only SBCs that is leaked right now. Very high potential that it drops today on a Sunday. So watch out for that. Maybe some of your Manchester United links could do well. Maybe some of your Danish links could do well also in the game. Maybe like, um, I don't know, Delaney would go up that much. They're not in the same league. But just keep an eye on this because that'd be a fun SBC at a good price, EA. Again, right now, as you guys know, just as I do, the SBC, the player SBC content has not been good. Like this Jimenez, yes, Jimenez and Carvalho were dirt cheap. 
but like guys these cards are not good and you guys know this and it's it's a shame right the cards that we're getting on the game the mini release that we had yesterday yes we had Mane, which was dope but we also had mitrovic and hinkape who are both literally at discard price on the market right now that is what is the most disappointing thing to the content drop yesterday is that the player spcs and the player players that were released in packs we're just fat L's, right? And that's why people are disappointed in that aspect of the content right now. And I completely understand that. But hopefully that changes today with an, a potential uh, Ericsson SBC. Now, also, today is still a part of the Black Friday weekend, right? So I would imagine the packs that are in the store, that the lightning rounds would continue. I mean, here I am recording this video at 11 p.m. Eastern time. Um, on a Friday night, or sorry, on, on the Saturday night, heading into Sunday, and we still have ultimate packs, lightning rounds in the store, jumbo ultimate packs at that, right? The 150,000 coin packs. We still have the, the Black Friday 100 pack. There might still be one more refresh of this today on Sunday. So I'm really looking towards like Sunday tonight as a really potential decent time frame to pick up some cards. If we get that uh, hero upgrade SBC, or if we get another the 89 max hero world cup if that drops again or we get this black friday 100 pack in the store again i think today on sunday in the later hours might be a really really good time to pick up on some cards and that's what i'm going to talk about next but i think that should be it for our sunday content i mean you know the sbcs that are in the store probably should continue i don't think we'd get any more flash sbcs they might do a couple for cyber monday We'll just have to see. But that's kind of what I'm expecting for Sunday content. The only, I'll just add this in really quick. The only other thing that I'm just a little bit in question about is could we actually have two mini releases? We had a small one yesterday where they dropped a couple icons in the game, including Pele and Zambrata. Uh, and they also dropped like the Mane and stuff. But we have this Busquets. We also have Zielinski. We have Montiel. And um, we already had the Hinkape, right? But we have not seen Zielinski, Montiel, and and we have not seen Busquets. Could there be a second mini release of three more Road to the World Cup cards today? I feel like there's maybe potential for that, or these guys might be involved in some sort of team two. I don't think there's a team two for this promo. I think we're getting this the World Cup Stories promo next week, which Van Dyke has already been leaked for, by the way. Cats out of the bag, Sheriff leaking a promo six days before it starts. GG's. Those are the expected stats as well. That's a crazy leak, like so far ahead of time. Anyways, um, I think this promo is next Friday, so that's why I'm just wondering if we're going to get a second mini release today, so just be on the watch out for that. But let's get back to talking about the market, because as you and I both know, a lot of prices are really, really low. The parts of the market that I like the best, 100% the best, are these PTG cards because they are out of packs. They still have hype as some of the most recent cards that have been dropped in the game. They're pretty rare, if we're being completely honest. And their upgrades are coming really soon, guys. I mean, let's be honest. We are getting very close to that third and final matchup for all of these nations. Like, in literally by Tuesday, we're going to be looking at the third and final games for all of these countries. Um, and that's going to be the deciding factor on when these cards get their upgrades and which cards continue to get upgrades after that and which ones will not get any more upgrades. So, I mean, you take a look at some of these prices that are on these PTG cards right now. I actually bought some Carval Halls yesterday in the panic of the SBC. Now, I already sold them to try to move them out and to get some more coins in other places. But Carval Hall went from 188 down to 165. I bought like three Carval Halls here at 165. I sold them at 180. Now, I would definitely look to sell like this Carval Hall specifically. I don't think he's dropped off enough as other cards have. Like, he, yeah, he was 230. He's down to 180, right? He was still 130 in packs. And some other cards, like you think about Kuti Romero, who is a card that is down way lower than what he was in packs, or Araujo is 160K, way lower than what he was in packs. I think that Carvajal is a very rare card, and a lot of people like him because he's one of the only good La Liga right backs. But I'd be careful with that card today. I'd still sell that in the hype. But again, if you see price drops like we've seen on these World Cup PTG cards, um, in the later hours today on Sunday, I think it's a really, really good opportunity to snag them. I bought uh, like four Zacharias uh, yesterday at like 180, 185, and I sold them all at 210. He's kind of coming back down a little bit now. You kind of notice which of these cards have the biggest fluctuations if you look at their graphs, right? This Bernardo Silva shows right now is 510. That's why I, I went to the market to check him because he is definitely not 510, but he went down to 530. And then rebounded back up to about 560, and now he's kind of back down again. And it looks like he's in the process of rebounding back up, right? The rare cards that are from the bigger nations 
have the biggest fluctuations when it comes to these cards. Those would be the items that I would look to the most. Gomez with Argentina winning yesterday, getting some points that were much needed for their potential progressing out of the group. That's a card that moves a lot. Cuti Romero is up to 130. I bought one of him at 120 after the game. Uh, yesterday, he went even lower. So I snagged one of those. So you have to be careful, of course. These guys, these guys are live, but I think those are pretty solid investments that you could be looking at on the market. And then, I mean, if you're looking to buy somebody for your team, some of these World Cup hero cards, I'm a fan of these as well because these guys, remember, are out of packs. And the only time these guys are going to get panic sold in the future is if there's more insane promo cards dropped or if, honestly, there's like a hero upgrade SBC. So... With the amount that these guys have dropped off in price, like Landon Donovan, 200,000 coins. After yesterday, he was 240, right? That's still a card that a lot of people want to try out. Brolin is 460K after I believe he was like 500K um, yesterday. I mean, there are so many prices that are down. Alawariana is 652. Um, cool is 280. Some of them are still pretty high, like Yaya Torre, Lucio, that's still pretty up there, but Forlan is under 600,000 coins again. I really do think, guys, there is potential for buying these cards in the next day for, you know, a decent hold and a, a decent rise out of packs. I'm not saying that the content after we get out of today on Sunday is going to be an L. I'm just saying that I think I mean, if you think about it logically, this we're probably near the peak, right? We're probably near the peak of how good content is like ever going to get on this game at least at least for right now like the content is really nuts right now let's be honest we're getting so many SBCs, player SBCs, upgrade packs so many packs that are in the store it doesn't get too much better than the level of content that we are currently witnessing which is why i am pretty comfortable and pretty confident in saying i feel like this market has potential to bounce back on the meta side of things as we head out of this weekend. So in general, I like the World Cup heroes, I like the PTG cards, I like anything that's even like an out of packs promo card. Like, you know, I know the ones to watches have been dropping off too. These guys are still do some upgrades. I don't exactly know when they're gonna happen, but like Renato Sanchez was up at 800,000 coins, one of the most rare cards um, in terms of a promo card in this game, just because he's so hyped. Like I'm searching a 780 and we only have one page on the market here. There's a 725K, right? These guys move around a lot. Or maybe it's, you look at Rule Breakers, like maybe it's Rule Breakers Ramos, who is hyped up right now because he still links to the brand new flashback uh, Messi card. Ramos was under 300K yesterday. And right now it looks like he's like 320. So a slight bounce back there. Uh, one card that I saw like a really, really big drop on was Abamyang. Abamyang was down at 300,000 coins. He's back up a little bit, but he was like 350, I think, before all the crazy panic started yesterday. So I would start to look at the market, whether it's on PTGs, whether it's on World Cup heroes, maybe some World Cup icons, maybe even some of the best of Team of the Week cards, right? These guys did so well. I talked about it in yesterday's video. These guys did so well on Friday. I was not ready to see that. Um, but like Tomori is 240. He went down to 213. He's now back up to about 220. Like if Tomori goes back to 200,000 coins, even though he got a lot of supply, these cards are still in very high demand because they're the best of the team of the week. They're really, really good cards that people still want to use. I think there's a potential to maybe put some of your coins into cards as the content slows down in the next day or so. So that's kind of the general message from me today about the market in terms of a couple day again i think i think the buy time for a lot of this stuff maybe for some of the more rare cards it would be earlier today but i think you'd be wanting to see a little bit more panic later on in the market today um before you would go and pick up uh one some of these cards as you know that's panic would be a great sign of an opportunity to buy so as you can tell right now i'm trying to do some quick flips this marquinhos is like one of the most rare cards in the game i'm trying to get this guy out for around 800,000 coins bottom at 720 the money i'm getting a bit stuck on unfortunately i really again i really like the ptgs i've been trading a bunch of those as you can see on my transfer list all these were these were bought at 165 uh this these were bought at uh 180 to 185 so some nice flips there continuing to get that coin balance up of course um, after a busy week and, and not trading too much on like Thursday or Friday. So we're continuing to go, grow, grow the coin balance. And one thing I'm looking forward to today on Sunday a little bit as well is could there be a bit of a market rise today on maybe some of the lower tier market? Last It was either last week or two weeks ago on Sunday morning, the market rose very well because we had squad battle rewards that a lot of people were going out and opening because there was a lot of objectives that re required you playing squad battles. And I think that with 
The World Cup swaps grind continuing to be in full swing. And with the swaps showcase that was put out, um, you know, the showcase two that was put out earlier in the week, I think there's a lot of people getting squad battle rewards today on Sunday. So on your lower tier meta market, some of your gold cards that are still holding value, of course, for what their uh, rating is. Maybe you think about gold for Len Mendy. You think about that Vinny Jr. we looked at, Kyle Walker, maybe even Ronaldo, maybe Neymar, maybe Van Dyke. You take a look at some of those cards that are not fodder, that are still pretty usable. Those cards rose the most a couple weeks ago when we had a really nice uh, squad battles market rise. And maybe you take a look at some of the, the new promo cards as well from the brand new team. Some of these cards could be moving up today on the market a bit. Like I bought a couple of uh, Wijnaldums. He's back down again. 71K for Wijnaldum is, okay, that's an undercut. That's really, really low as one of the most popular cards in the game at the moment. Uh, just keep an eye on the market today. I think there could be some uh, bounce back. Um, even in the short term for a quick flip. And if you need fodder, I'll talk about this too. If you need fodder, like I know it's tough because these guys are so high in price, but to be completely honest, when the lightning rounds go away after today, like they most likely will, and the SBCs are still gonna be there, at least like the Icon SBC is gonna be out for a few more days. The 89 Max Hero might go away, but you still got a lot of stuff in here that is gonna require fodder. These cards can, can continue to rise they honestly can like if we had the 89 max hero dropped again today 88s are probably going to go back to like 60 70 000 coins as they were on friday when that whole thing refreshed so i know fodder is stupid high but it can honestly go even higher with the supply slowing down but there's still being a lot of demand in that SBC section for those cards so just kind of keep an eye out uh, for all that stuff. And again, I don't know what's going on with the icons and the mini release here because we usually do not have a mini release on Saturdays. That's very rare, right? But we actually had it yesterday. Um, I was keeping an eye on this Zambrata card. He actually bounced back. GG's. He was down at like the low 400s and I, I knew that was going to be a buy and he rebounded back up into the, looks like somewhere around like 470 or 480. Uh, he's actually almost 500k. So really good fluctuations there. If you traded with any cards from Friday night into Saturday, that's one of my favorite buy windows uh, for cards. Like Hyunmin Sun um, went from low 700s back into the 800s, right? He went from 815, or yeah, it was low 800s. 815, he went all the way back up to 870. You could have even got him out for like 890. Uh, I know the Drogba card was a really good flip as well from late um, Friday night, he was 750, went all the way up to 922. Now he's back down to 750 again. I mean, that was a really crazy low price for what he was at. Uh, so, you know, not all of your fluctuations are going to be that big, but one of the biggest fluctuations and why I'm, I'm interested in Wijnaldum again is yesterday he went from 80,000 coins to 100K in the morning as people woke up and played foot champs. I guess our question about there maybe not being as much demand on the market for people going out and buying teams is not 100% true because um, even though the weekend league rewards are completely different, I think people are just playing weekend league because they need fodder and they need fodder badly. So that's why you're seeing uh, the market rise a decent amount as it did yesterday morning and it might happen again today. So that's why I'm gonna put my coins into some stuff uh, here in a little bit and just try to see if we can get a little bit of a rise into today on Sunday for sure. And uh, we'll see what happens with the content. I'm very, very interested to see if EA continue the insane content like push or if it does slow up a bit. I'm going to see if I can snag one of these Wijnaldums here at uh, maybe 70, 71,000 coins and this little foot been undercut potentially as people are opening lightning rounds late night NA. But uh, yeah, that's kind of be my plan. Probably uh, keep it the quick flips. And, and I'm, I'm looking to get on some PTG cards. I really am like... The fact that Kuti Romero is still undervalued where he was in packs. Um, I know he just kind of bounced back to like 130, but this guy at like 120 to me, he was he was 130, 140 while he was in packs. And you guys know how expensive this guy got last week when the content was really dead and he exploded to like over 200,000 coins. I'm not expecting that to happen again. All I'm saying is I just think there's potential uh, for some of those PTG cards to continue going up because we're getting very, very close to the upgrade time frame for those cards. So continue to watch the market there. And I wouldn't say you have to be super scared about the market continuing to crash, because again, like I said, guys, I feel like we are getting towards the end of things and the end of the crazy weekend of content. So that bodes well for what could happen in the next couple of days in this game. So if you enjoyed the video today and it was helpful for you at all, smash a thumbs up on the video and comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new i'm excited for today's content i need to get some of those upgrade packs done because there's a lot of cards and packs 
and I want to at least have a shot at packets of the sick. So I will catch you guys on the stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.